session. Hello, so my name is uh, Prem Asim Jain and uh, we are going to start our fourth session of this training. So before starting the fourth session, let's review what was the homework from last training session. So last training session, we understood the entire life cycle of a code, how we uh, create a repository, make changes, commit them, push them, and then how we create a pull request so that it can the code can travel to the master, which is its final destination. Seems like all of you guys have understood it pretty well and all of you have also opened the uh, uh, pull requests. So you guys are able to see my screen, right? You can. Yeah, yeah so. Okay, awesome. So first we will look uh, at the pull request by Spurti, which was six minutes before. Naren was very dedicated. He opened it yesterday itself. And Mohan has also done a good job uh, two hours before. So let's see what they have. So they have made some changes in the file and then there was one commit from them and the commit message was it is good so we will now look at the other pull request from mohan code review comments implemented reviewer mohan this is having a conflict merge conflict stuff comes merge conflict means uh, uh, same people have uh, uh, made the changes in the same file so now git is confused which uh, uh, changes to take because flight.java is the common file and there are multiple people who have made the changes on that. Spurti has made changes on which file? Okay, on ATC mediator. Let's see, Naren has made changes on which file? Naren, you haven't changed any file? The merge commit was added into this branch cleanly. Yeah, I have made some changes. So let me see into which file I made changes. Okay. Uh, I made changes to ATC mediator dot Java. Okay, first change on MVC ready for production release. This is good. I see the message. Uh, let me go to commit. Uh, inside the commit. This is strange, but that's fine. View the diff. Let me see the diff. Okay, it got auto much probably. Adding for training, grant permission for landing. This was added. So, was it your change, Naren? No, no, no. That is not my change, sir. Okay, no worries. So uh, you can just, uh, so this was just more like a, a learning process that are we able to uh, get to the point where we are able to generate the pull requests. So before we move ahead and I create another, uh, you know, our workable repository, do you have any conceptual questions or doubts which you want me to clear up that? No, sir. Okay, so then let's uh, let's get started with uh, uh, what I have done so far for you guys. So we have got a, a Java training repository which has been pushed uh, then and there. So with me, I will just uh, tell you how to create a repository of your own, and then you guys on on all of your each boxes you will create the repository and then email be the link email back me the link as the assignment that you are able to create a repository this is for your learning though so you can so first go to your uh, github home and then you have to uh, say new repository whatever you're seeing just follow up till this point so you see a plus sign over there and then you have to say create new repository so after creating the repository you can give it any name if you are making it in java node spring whatever what any technology can come or name can come so you can i am just making it a trial repository because i am going to delete it after some time trial repo so i say it as a trial repo 
it is a public repository if you want to make it private then you have to do some payments if you want to make it public it is free you can give a optional uh, description uh, made it for training you guys can say okay made it for learning so this is how you are learning then it says um, initialize the repository with a readme file so any code any project you go it has a readme file which tells you what this project is all about so uh, and it's a good practice that in all your repository you have at least one readme file which can explain you once you are up till this point you just have to say okay create repository so uh, this is how your repository has been created and then you will get this link so as soon as you get this link anyone can clone uh, your repository so i am going to put it in chat and i would like you guys to ping back me the link of the repository which you guys have created just now so i see narain's uh, link i see mohan's link i'm waiting for spurti and meanwhile let me open okay so i want to watch your repository what does that mean that whenever you will make some change or something i will get a notification that is called as watching and not watching means okay now now i am not interested in watching it so i'll be a watcher in uh, you guys repositories so let me become watcher on uh, mohan's repository where is mohan's repository yeah oh i am watching it oh no so who is the one watcher there okay mohan himself is one watcher over there seems like he made himself watcher okay so you guys also click each other's repository also and uh, watch each other's repository now i'll open uh, spurti's repository will become a watcher so as soon as you start watching it you see the number and how many people are watching you can see so my organization name is bodhi creations and whatsoever here it is right so good job till here now let's get back to my repository again what was the name of the repository trial repo okay now you guys have to you have created it on the cloud now you have to clone it for yourself so you have to just do a clone and if you have git desktop you can do a clone from there yeah or uh, when i open the java repository it asks me to import code uh, for readme file Okay, when you are doing import code for readme file, I I didn't get in this. Uh, can you set up if you have done this kind of import? Okay, so initially the readme file would be uh, you know uh, empty or null or whatever. Uh, then you yeah. can uh, 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 put a edit here, and then you can describe the uses Java for example. and then you can save it you have to say updated read me any commit message so what we do from command prompt essentially we can also do it from ui and then you can do a commit once so so we are all set here right and now okay. for my uh, import code what shall i do with me so you are face uh, okay let me go to your repository first so you have a repository and repository is empty basically right so you can just re redo yeah. create another repository just the way uh, you know i told before and then click here initialize this and this with none none public make description and try to generate more and then ping the link probably this time it would be good 
Kuchen. So as soon as if you, uh, yeah, we'll wait. Uh, meanwhile, you're creating and ping. Uh, I can, you know, uh, proceed further and then we'll check your repository if it has the readme file or not. Because I believe you might okay. have forgotten to click this, uh, initialize this repository with readme. That was the mistake. I mean, that was the... I got it. Okay. I you the... Okay, that's awesome. Now you guys, uh, so this is on cloud. Right now, it's not ready for you to work. So first thing you need to clone it. So you will just uh, copy this and then uh, go to your command prompt, whatever uh, folder you have. You will say git clone repository name, enter. So clone it in your local desktop. Once you clone it, then you have to do cd and so ls so whatever um, uh, i believe you guys are already uh, there uh, in the last lecture i told you okay let's have our uh, um, git bash inside that these commands will work properly if you are using windows if you are on linux or mac it's by default it comes with the bash profile so that's not a problem so i'll say trial t r i t r trial repo this is how i just have one file now we will open it in notepad or any of your favorite editor so you have to open it there or install atom that is best but Again, it's uh, it depends on you. So I'm just waiting for it to open. It got opened. This is my readme file. Now after this, I will try to add some uh, files inside this in a proper structure and then I will push it. After everything is done, so we play around with this. I just wanted you guys to have a foundation step, right? Which you have already got. Now you have to follow same thing. You have to add Okay, let me quickly do it for you. So I have a file called as first.java my first change. I will save it. I will come here. I will say git status. I will say git add first.java. I will say ls then i'll say git commit minus m my first commit then i'll say git push origin master i'll say i have to wait it it figured out the delta it pushed it has one object id so when I'll teach you Mongo, I'll uh, tell you what basically object ID and how it gets generated and all idea, practical idea about you. Theory you can read anywhere. You have entire day to go through theory, but basic fundamental and concept, they are more important. So when you will go and work or when you learn and everything and they'll, they'll help you everywhere basically. So just instead of cramming, uh, try to go to fundamentals and make them strong so for your long lasting career it would help you everywhere so object id now we have got the object id now let's see if we have pushed it it has reached uh, to your repository or not so sometimes student says oh i pushed it it didn't came here so you need to reload it and then technically if you have done everything right you will see a file added here yeah. Hello sir, do we need to create a new repo I mean new directory in our local machine also? Uh, no, that is not required because as soon as you will, uh, let's say if you are at home or wherever, wherever you have cloned it. So let's say I have cloned it in pet projects, right? So once the clone is done, you will see a repository with the name called as git. Uh, so you have to do ls and then 
so you have to do dir or ls whatever you are doing and then you have to do a auto complete trail repo whatever so this repo uh, is the folder which you have created here wherever you have cloned this folder would automatically create it and once you do a cd to that folder then you will start uh, seeing all your code and then you can pull push and do everything whatever you want so i'll just take a pause of one minute so you guys i'll ensure that everybody can clone their repository can cd to the proper uh, folder wherever their repository was there then um, you can open it in the uh, whatever window explorer yes window explorer do a right click and create a notepad file or whatever way you want it you are independent and free to do whatever way but ultimately we should be able to add a file and follow the commands i just said and then uh, push and uh, feel uh, see your file is added i'll quickly add these files here uh, commands here also so first you have to say git add and then just do a dot in once you add a file dot is a shortcut for whatever is in the current directory it will take everything then you have to do uh, git commit minus m whatever files you have added that will uh, you will say message as first commit and then you have to do good push origin origin master and how to clone the clone command you will already get from your own repository so once you will uh, open this this command you will already get so you just need to copy this command and uh, put uh, run it in your git bash to inside whatever folder you want this uh, project to keep okay so far so good uh, now let us get back to our uh, the folder which i want you guys to clone uh, and this is again a homework for you uh, i'll give it in the assignment on mail uh, that you have to add some file and uh, do everything like this now uh, there is a java training 2017 uh, collaborative folder for all of you guys so i will create one package or one folder inside it uh, for you guys to submit your code basically for some to submit or uh, so i just made uh, one uh, folder for me and then one folder for naren so i am going to push this and i'll show you there so for mohan and spurti i'll create a folder and then you guys have to clone it and push your entry file which would be the entry program any any dummy file just for learning purpose so let's go here let's go here then i need to find now there are so many repositories it's hard to find only famous one will show up on the home page overview rest all would be here so this is the repository now i'll ping you the clone command so please clone it maybe you can go to your home or whatever your home folder then do git clone and this command once you come up here then after that for our each name there will be one folder for each one of you so uh, right now if you will pull you will just get two files now i am making another commit i will push it from here you guys will pull it so that spurti and mohan will also see their own folder so let me make that real quick i can say as and please don't uh, get confused by editor editor options and look and feel might be different but basic fundamental is similar whatever editor you are doing you will you might face some problem initially because options are here and there but once you play around and struggle and do little bit of google you will become familiar with whatever editor you use 
so usually i use atom you guys can also try and use atom it's free open source and fast enough or uh, intellij also i i don't know if you are comfortable it also has a community version which is free and for students i think it's already free it needs some of your college id or something and then it's free to be used eclipse is also awesome it's good and netbeans i personally really like netbeans very few people uses it it's not very popular in industry but for web development and all it is a good editor but uh, intellij is professionally best basically and that's why i i use intellij so i'm making package for sp sporty sp for rti sporty no. i don't know spelling s p h o o r t i okay i got it s p h o o r t h i sporty so just to be faster i am just doing a replication here okay spurti will make his own name and then push it so we'll see it uh, now let's create it for mohana m o h n m o h a n mohana okay this has been saved now now let me do a push so so now uh, i also have some uh, other uh, way to push it but we'll just follow command prompt uh, i believe in whatever editor you use there would be a terminal inside that just stick to your git bash let me also stick to this so that i am not confusing you but if you do command from here or here in mac it's the same thing right so let's let's make it simple let me just open that terminal sorry close it so that it's not confusing you guys anymore so we are here now we will uh, do a ls and we'll say git status no i am on incorrect repository i am supposed to be at the java training repository so i also have java playground i have java script playground i have java code puzzles so many repositories we'll say git status so now it says that uh, there are two files or folders whatever has been added uh, which are like this and then there is minor modification here so this file can be added to the git ignore because we don't have to track these files these files are uh, mm, pro uh, they are not project related but they are related to ide so we don't want to do that so there is a uh, git this file let me generate it you guys just have to see it and uh, so this will help me to ignore you will uh, don't worry if you don't understand what git ignore is but uh, <clears throat> there are few files which we do not want to track or push or pull or whatever but whenever you will do the git status it would show up here and it will annoy you so just to uh, uh, there is a way to say git hey git ignore all these files which are in probably in this folder or the file name and there are so many ways so you can have to just create a git ignore file which is dot git ignore which is something like this so as soon as i push it you will understand as soon as you will pull the code how does it looks like so we'll say git add dot git ignore src com mohan src com purti git status 
Okay, good. Now I'll say git commit message added folder for all students. Now I'll say good push. So every time I don't have to say git push origin master or whatever is the branch name. I just uh, once it's like all set it's added or oh, shortcut just say git push now you guys have to do git pull if your repository is all set so please open it uh, pull it and uh, open it there so next thing would be each one of you will uh, go to your own folder do not go to others folder structure as soon as you will get it cloned you will see your own uh, folder structure and inside your own uh, file uh, make changes to the name uh, so i'll wait take your time because whatever java we will learn uh, you guys have to code it and put it in your respective folder so that i will get the consolidated view of all of you guys and you can also see each other's stuff learn from each other as well so we all will learn together from each other inside one common repository so i am quite happy with uh, you know with your interest and the way you guys are moving learning you know time punctuality and everything so we are going good and uh, thursday friday we have off and uh, saturday we can uh, uh, meet somewhere in afternoon so i'll send you the calendar invite it would be somewhere around two between two to four something like that same saturday sunday we can take some big lectures basically related to java object oriented some some other stuff there so uh, once you guys uh, will are finished with this stuff like you will uh, clone repository make changes and push it there in the repository uh, you might face some problem or something so um, if if uh, you're not able to finish it now we will uh, take it on saturday long session but for now in interest of time we will move ahead to the java training basically uh, initial of java training So, Sir, do you want us to clone the uh, repository into the into the uh, repository which we have to, which we have created or separately? No, the two repository can never be mixed or amalgamated. Okay. So you have to always create a fresh outside the root, right? So that's what I am saying. If you have home, right? So let's say this is my home for the projects. So I have to go to home cd dot dot now i can do anything right previously i was in wrong repository you remember i said oh i am in the wrong repository here okay. then i did uh, cd dot dot and get back and then uh, uh, this uh, uh, repository so we can never mix uh, repositories fine yes i've done it okay cool so if you might have pushed it uh, i let me see <clears throat> Let's go back. Let's come to this. And let me see how many people have pushed. So I don't see apart from me, anyone else has pushed or committed anything. So all are my commits here. So once you make change to your file in that folder structure, I think I, I believe your cloning is done, but make change in your own file folder and then you have to push it back. And then uh, you have to figure out setup in your own environment later after the training on right now and run it also. So in the system 
okay i'll show you what will be the output so let's say this is mohan's so mohan will say created by mohan on so and so date and he will say mohan's class and then he has to say run in his editor as soon as he say run he will see the output in the console so ideally that is there <clears throat> now uh, let's go to the official website of java so this is your homework assignment also uh, do it lisha so uh, we have to learn the uh, object oriented concepts if you if you have some doubt specific you can let me know and for interview preparation there are plenty of questions in uh, google uh, so you have to also learn as the training goes you have to learn and for something understanding and learning are different so you will learn on your own but to help you understand with analogy example and working code i am there for the same purpose so you can ask me i'll help you to learn it and code it also so once you code the fundamental will be more deep inside your brain and your mind so what is object oriented programming what is object what is class what this is official documentation by java so java is very mature language that's why in colleges or everywhere as a foundation everyone says okay learn java and then you once you learn java you can learn any other language very easily so uh, this is not a very fragile or very simple like javascript it has some structure it has you there is some way by which you have to code it or program it and uh, that's its uh, beauty also and that its weakness also both because you cannot start left and right and start coding and running program in java you have to have the concept of what is a class what is a object how does the compilation works how do we package the file or the project or the application what is byte code or whatever there what is jvm java virtual machine how it is platform independent so you can code in java and your java program will run in your car it can run in your cell phone it can run in even your washing machine so how that is possible and all that so these are concepts basically right overall uh, so you know once you go to interview or you say okay i know java so you know this okay this this are the features how this can work then for the advanced java you will okay you know what is uh, threading or multi threading then you also know uh, about um, a collection framework which which is very rich in uh, java that's why all banking or all good websites current websites and before uh, ibm you name it hp whatever big guys projects they are all building it in java because it's very secure as well compared to python or other easy languages especially javascript is very weak in terms of security so you will find no banking website or no proper secured website has ever been made in javascript or some scripting languages uh, php or something like that but it is in java so uh, what is i will quickly go through the important fundamentals we will take it as a base i will also send share this link with you hello sir yeah yeah actually when i am trying to push it it throwed me an error like permission to frame a seam slash java training denied to nari unable to access that the requested url okay have you cloned uh, uh, the same uh, which i just shared yeah yes sir i have cloned it and made changes on which file you made changes yeah on my file uh, narin hyphen entry dot java okay so you made changes here and then uh, in git status what do you see once you do a git status if you want i can make you presenter and i can see it 
ICIT is saying your branch is ahead of origin by one commit. Okay, I got you. Just do a pull and that's all what you need. Do a git 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 space p u l l pull then origin master it will solve your problem git pull o r i g i n m a s t e r just paste this yeah yes on uh, i got a message like already up to date so now do a git status Your branch is ahead of origin or master by one commit. Use git push to publish your local commit. Now do a git push origin master. Unable to access the same error I got, sir. So you are okay. Let me pull up your uh, this thing. Thank you please give me controls. So your uh, user, okay, you're trying to do. I cannot type somehow. I have requested the permission. Anyways, yeah, sure, no problem. So, unable to access the requested URL return 403. That means you are unauthorized. You are unauthorized to push directly in my uh, repository. Okay, can you do one thing? Just write git. Uh, check yeah. out minus B. Just one second. Yeah, get. check out C H E C K O U T minus B and then okay. say Narin. Narin. Okay, enter. Yeah. Now you do git push origin Narin. Enter. Permission to again the same error. Uh, you are properly logged into your repository, right? Spurti and other yeah, people, yeah. you are also facing the same problem, Spurti and other Mohan. Uh, yes, yes, I'm following your uh, instructions, sir. I'm doing the same way you're doing now. So probably you guys do not have the permission to enter uh, directly over there. So there might be some permission issue. Let me see that. This repository seems to be public, not a private one. Okay, just a moment. I will add collaborators. Uh, no problem. Give me a moment mm, to add collaborator. You can unshare your screen. Okay. And I will. I have to pull up your uh, each one of your username. So I'll just I'll share my screen and so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll see with start with Naren N A R I hyphen P Naren first one is you or yeah first one okay so I have added you as a collaborator now try I think you will have the invitation sent also. Just click this and uh, see what happens. You might have to accept a uh, contribution to this repository or something like that. Yeah. 
So once you confirm awaiting, right? So just do a confirmation first. Okay, meanwhile he is doing, I'll also add Mohan and Spurti. Mohan, six foods. I hadn't got any invitation, sir. So once you click this link, uh, what, what do you see after clicking this? Do you see a button of... Uh, yeah, yeah, accept invitation. Yeah. yeah, that's how. So everyone has to accept it. Mohan, M-O-H-A-N. Mohan. The link from this out of chat. Mohan's number is... I forgot his number. Six four six seven zero. Six four six seven zero. Mohan, please accept uh, my invitation. It's Purti. S P H O O R T. Let me take it from here. S P H O O O O R. T H I T H I hyphen G. Okay. Spurti, please add my accept my invitation. I will uh, copy link for both of you. Yeah, hi sir. As I'm on branch Narin, how 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 can I move to branch master? Okay, but, but don't push it in ma okay. L put, say git checkout and then say master git space checkout space master master. Yeah, okay. And you want me to push the code into my branch or the master branch? I was hoping that uh, if you guys can uh, push it in your own branch and then you can raise pull request. So before merging, I will review. That is a proper okay. process. Otherwise, what you guys can do, you can always work directly on master, but ideally that is not uh, the best way until and unless mm -hmm. we get a blocker or uh, something, the code is having issues and we have to fix it right away. Then we directly work on master. Otherwise, no one directly works on master. Everyone works on their own branch. And then they raise a pull request. So after review, the code goes to master. So Spurti and uh, uh, Mohan, please, uh, uh, you also guys do this thing. And let me know if you are able to push those changes. And just wait for a couple of minutes. <laughs> So we were talking about objects. Can we move to Java object orientation and concepts now? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. This is not simple and this is not difficult. Uh, when I was student, I crammed all the stuff for years, two, three, four years. And actually I understood what is object after a long time, conceptually. So till the time I was not able to understand, but I'll just, okay, object is like real world. So an object is a software bundle of related state and behavior. Software bundle are often used to model the real world object that you find in everyday life. The lesson explains how state and behavior are represented within an object 
introduces the concept of data encapsulation and explain the benefit of designing so each word carries a lot of meaning and uh, you will realize as you go deeper so uh, basically uh, we think about a car car as an object whatever your favorite car just think of that whatever and then car has a behavior behavior means when you turn on the engine it gives you sound that is the behavior of a car then once you put it on the gear if you will put forward gear it will go forward if you will put backward it will go backward that is the behavior car so whatever way you will program your car that way it has to function it has to go forward or back and you have different controls in the car which are like commands to the car whatever you give so we are just trying to replicate that is a physical thing physical command everything we are trying to replicate same thing in the programming world software world and we are um, telling okay this object belongs to or represent the car and car whatever attribute has it will have those attributes so just imagine it is a gaming car you are making a software for a game and then your car will run your car will do everything so you have 10 cars or whatever so if you uh, know the industrial revolution when started previously each car was made like in india tailor used to make one pant for each person uh, so they there was not mass production and then uh, the jeans and all these industries came so they will make almost same type fit all kind of and there were so many jeans pant and t-shirts and everything got created same they started doing car that instead of making one car at a time they had a assembly line and they'll clone like same car so each car used to look very different previously but ford has started the assembly line and their car were all same uh, they'll have same specification but they were able to replicate or clone one car into several they'll have same part same behavior everything so they have a one car which we think of as a class and then they create several objects out of it so for the gaming application you say okay you have car race and we have four cars for mohan narin spurti and premasin so we will create different objects out of that one class class is car and car has behavior so the gaming car will go left right forward backward brake everything and then so one is behavior and second is state i am giving a very simple example and it would be a very common question for you guys in all interviews if you will explain something like that with you know very confident tone interviewer is going to get impressed instead of just you know trying to a uh, half definition forget half definition remember cramming or without understanding even though you will say exact word to word bookish definition without understanding it might not be that impressive so just take this example okay there is a game and you have a object as a car and you are trying to replicate and then uh, it will have some behavior same way i told you behavior now what are the fields or the state so each car has some state let's say uh, you can say the mileage of the car uh, there are some numbers which are associated to it first you can say state there would be two three four state probably there are two states in car one it is moving another it's a stopped so we can have a variable which will say um motion name of the variable is motion and then the value could be it's moving or it's stopped that is one field because it is not a behavior basically stopping is not a behavior braking is a behavior when you brake what happens the state changes and car comes to a complete stop so the object has several states so now we will uh, uh, think about it this is the definition and then they say uh, there is a speedometer also there is uh, so let me just take you just to make things simple we will create it right away 
now in java there are some coding conventions javascript you can name a file whatever way you want and uh, so you guys are able to see my screen clearly right yes sir okay. okay so in javascript or any language you can screw it any way you want it won't complain but java does so the class name has to start with a numeric number and a capital letter as per coding conventions now what are coding conventions so uh, previously one programmer was doing it some way another was doing an so let's take the analogy of kitchen so you you are trying to help with your mom and your siblings are there but everybody started cooking dish in their own way and throw utensils anywhere put it anywhere then it becomes a mess for the for your mom uh, to uh, you know get the things again uh, where it was kept or as a process or as a convention they say okay i put salt over here and this thing over there so they have some convention once you go inside the kitchen to help you will uh, learn the things and ask your mom what thing is kept where she will teach you and then you will uh, you know, help out and put the things same way so if uh, otherwise it would be a chaos so previously programming languages were chaos because everybody was doing it in any way there was no convention so it was difficult for the new person who is coming it to understand and then so uh, the convention is you cannot name your class like starting with any random letter right now you see it's a red mark because my idea intellij is smart enough to figure out any errors or i cannot do anything whatever i want so i'll just tell you a link i'll also share java coding standards and they also have interview question and this is very important point because people don't want to take the developers who don't know uh, what's the standard way of coding they will go there and will try mess up the code so you have the coding style guide and conventions this is for your understanding and preparation both so what how should be the file name so file name top level file name must contain dot java extension it should start with uh, the capital letter and uh, that is everything you will find here we will not go one by one but i'll ping this try to follow google java code style guide this is a good but you can always go this is bit uh, uh, you know not that nice but oracle has official so previously java was built by sun when i did my scjp sun certified java programming certification it belonged to sun but then oracle purchased it about 10 years or 9 years before so now it is part of oracle company which also owned the database so they owned uh, now they own the java and java is open source a platform independent which means uh, the source code of how java runs or how it works is open to everybody and then uh, they can also collaborate basically closed source languages are proprietary so you don't know how that underlying work is happening in that language the best example is dot net it's uh, it belongs to microsoft so they don't let you know under the hood how it is uh, working in your system it can do any uh, hacking or it can do anything of course it does not do it it's a license agreement but if any crappy language will do anything if it's not open uh, uh, open source then you don't understand how it's working and it could be potential issue so anyway coming back i was supposed to send you this link so i'll send you this link go through coding convention coming back so i have a class which is called as car now it will have the main method and then it will have some behavior and then it will have some state so state we can call it as motion 
so motion can have value you can assign it to null null means nothing there is nothing in the um, uh, but, but then you will have behavior so behavior will be so now we are trying to make a method you will say move okay okay so i think we are on time eight o'clock uh, so i'll just uh, uh, leave it here and uh, i'll also uh, so it, it would be faster for us it takes some time basically to get through the deep and detail of this we need some focus and concentration so we will make you object we'll work on the car object basically so use your imagination and uh, come up with your own car object model read through it you have enough days two days time so what i want to see is in your own folder you guys should have a car car should have some motion uh, behavior whatever you can come up with then of course i'll tell you how to do it but uh, that's your homework uh, and we'll uh, learn it the right way and the concept inheritance polymorphism everything so for now you will uh, do a car homework right now i am going to airport so i'll not be sending you the link right away but after, once i am back i'll drop the email with video recording your homework assignment and whatever are the useful links so good night guys and thanks for joining so see you on saturday afternoon i'll send the calendar invite okay.